rearrange formula to isolate variables. Formula with squares and square roots. Well, in this video, I am going to show you exactly how to rearrange the formula to get the variables. And then I have a following video where I will also discuss the application of these two formulas. They are extremely important, right? So let's first, from this formula, try to figure out what is x. So let's find out what is x, right? And then as an exercise, you try to find out what is y. So for you, it will be y as a practice, correct? So you have to follow same steps which I am going to do here. So we need to find what is x from this formula. That means we want to get rid of y square. So the first step will be take away y square from both sides. So we get x square plus y square and we'll do minus y square equals to r square minus y square. So that's what we will do. So now y square minus y square is 0. So we get here x square equals to r square minus y square. Now from a square, we will square root both sides. So that is, we'll rewrite this x square equals to r square minus y square and then we'll square root both sides. Now when you square root, then you get the number itself. We're considering cases where x, y and r are all positive for simplicity. Imagine that we are working on this right triangle where the sides of the triangles are x and y and the hypotenuse is r. Since the sides will always be positive, we are considering a case where all these numbers are positive. Okay? In that case, square root of x square will be x. Right? And this will be square root of r square minus y square. So that is the formula for x. So I'd like you to do same steps and get the formula for y. So that is your exercise. And then once you've rearranged your formula, you can solve the problem. And problem for you is like this. If x is equal to, let us say 7, and y is equal to, you have to find y, and let's say r is equal to 8, find y, okay? So you can use your calculator to do this part at times because that may be very tricky, okay? So that is one thing which you can do. Similarly, you can take other values and figure out other things. Like, for example, you can also try if x is equals to, let's say we don't know what x is, right? So, and we know y and r. Let's say y is equals to 4 and r equals to 5, find x. So you can use your derived formula to find the answers, right? So this one you'll get from here. The other one you need to derive, correct? So that is the first part. Now that's another formula where we have square root. Now here we did, we wanted to get x from square, so we did square root. Here we want to get l, for example. Let's try to find out how to find l. So if you want to find l, we will square both sides. Let's square both sides. Well, what we can do is first rearrange. So let's divide by 2 pi. So the first step we will do is t divided by 2 pi equals to square root of L over G. All right? That is what we did. So we want to find what L is. Now this is equality. We can always write this on the left side. So we can write this as L over G equals to t over 2 pi. Now to find L, what we can do? We can square now both sides. So let's square both sides. If you square both sides, then square of a square root will be the, the number inside or the variable inside. So, so that be L over G equals to, and squaring this, so what we are doing here is we are squaring both sides. Square this and square this, correct? So we get T square over 4 pi square. So we get a relation between L over G and T square over 4 pi square. Now from here you can find L or you can find G. Correct? So let's first find L from here. So L equals to, we'll multiply by G on that side. So we get T square over 4 pi square times G, right? Now if you have to find G from here, how will you do? 
So what we can do is we can multiply by g and divide by these. So we'll just cross multiply. That is what we call cross multiply, right? So if you do that, you get L times 4 pi square divided by t square equals to g, right? So that's what you get. So what we did here, kind of divide by t square and multiply by 4 pi square. And you can isolate g, right? So that is how you can do it. So we did g also for you, correct? So that is how we can use this formula to rearrange and find the variable. So here you can do a practice problem. So practice problem for you here is, let us say g equals to 10, right? Take a value of g as 10 and let let it be, uh, for easy calculations, let's say it is 4, right? 4 centimeters. Then find what t is, right? Find what t is, correct? So you can do that. Or you can do like this. Let us say t is known to you. So we say let t equals to time taken is, so let's say 1 second, right? 1 second. And g is 10, is a constant and L you need to figure out. So try to find what L is. So try to use these values and find your answer as a practice. Okay, thank you.